Hey guys, so quick video. Today I'm going to talk about some underused slash underrated avionics that I don't see people using a lot and they definitely should because they're actually really, really strong. The avionics I'm going to be talking about are the wing series, that being wing cyclone, winged force, wing steel, and wing storm. Now, I actually have two of them on my build right here, wing steel and wing cyclone. Now, why do I have these mods on here when they're only supposed to buff nearby arc wing armor? by 360 percent well these buffs these same buffs right they have a very very short range but they don't just apply to allied arc wings they also apply to you so if i take off my wing steel i lose armor now wing steel is actually stronger than zekti hull wave zekti hull weave which you can buy in the marketplace for 65 platinum by the way so you definitely should not be trading this with other players this only gives you 253 percent armor Whereas wing still gives you 360% armor. Just to show you, let me take both of these off, right? So I have base 800 armor. So if I slide in wing steel here, I have 3,680 armor. But if I go ahead and replace that with Zekti Hull Weave, I only have 2,824 armor. So not only is Zekti Hull Weave less effective, it also costs more. Zekti Hull Weave, maxed out, costs 13 avionics capacity, while a maxed out Wing Steel only costs 10. And on top of that, it only has four ranks, so it costs less die rack. And on top of that, this is pretty easy to obtain from enemies, like I have 15 of them, whereas Zekti Hull Weave I actually just bought from the marketplace because I couldn't actually get it to drop normally. And the best part is that these avionics stack with each other, and that's what gives me my 5.7k armor that I have on my Railjack. Though honestly, you literally don't need this much. Just a Vitter Hole Weave alone is just enough. Is literally just enough armor. Uh, that paired with like a, a Vidar Shield Regen mod is totally enough to survive fighters. But it's it doesn't hurt to have them both together. And of course, the same thing applies to the other wing mods. So I have Wing Cyclone here, uh, as well as my other speed mods to give me a ton of speed. So again, so this gives me raw speed. So I'm gonna take both of these off. Uh, boost speed is not what I'm looking at right now because there's no our wing series for boost speed. But if we go to speed here, a Lavin Conic Nozzle gives me 25.3% speed. While Wing Cyclone, the Vidar Wing Cyclone, only gives me 25% speed. However, I guess they might have like swapped the numbers because the numbers are wrong because when I equip only Conic Nozzle, this gives me 583 meters per second, where Wing Cyclone, Vidar, remember, slightly lower percentage than the Lavin version, gives me 584, so that's one higher, but that's still a difference. And this is not even the highest it can go. You can get a Zekti version of this, which gives it goes all the way up to 30%, and that will be even more effective than the Lavin Conic Nozzle. Now, the only exceptions there are to the Wing series uh, not being more powerful than their basic counterparts are Wing Force. So, Wing Force gives you 25% shields. So, if I replace, like, Wing Steel with Wing Force, I get 1,700 shields, basically. But if I switch over to a Vidar Maxima, this has 56%, which is more than double that of Wing Force, and it gives me 2,060 shields. The other Wing mod that's not stronger than its basic counterpart is Wing Storm. Wing Storm increases your damage by 20%. However, even though this doesn't beat Hyper Strike, this is still a damage increase. So it's still something to worth considering. Uh, especially if you're trying to get the highest damage possible, you'd want like a Zekti Hyper Strike with a Zekti Wing Storm. And then you want to pair that with a tactical avionic called Battle Stations, which increases your damage by 75% for 30 seconds. However, currently it is unobtainable, but it is pretty cheap in the marketplace at 80 Platinum. And 80 Platinum is pretty cheap for an unobtainable mod. And that's all before like Last Stand or something like that. But just to, just to make sure that the 8 UI isn't fooling you, I'm going to take off both Hyper Strike and Wing Storm. <clears throat> and now my Cryofen is down to 4,400 damage. I'm going to throw on Hyper Strike. Now that 4,400 damage is now 7,700 damage. But if I replace that with Wing Storm, it is down to 5,300 damage. So, yeah, even though it doesn't beat out 
Hyper Strike, it is still worth considering if you want to stack as much damage as you possibly can and run like a damage build for your Railjack. Personally, I'm not going to do that. I prefer speed, but that's something you can consider. A little runners up for underrated avionics would be Flow Burn. Now, Flow Burn is a very rare tactical avionic that you can only get on Earth. But for whatever reason, despite being insanely rare, it is only 20 platinum in the market. But that said, what what it does is it's basically a nitro boost for your railjack. So if you have bad engines, this increases your speed by 30%. Your speed and your boost speed, by the way. So it's like having a good conic nozzle and a good ion burn in a tactical avionic that lasts about 10 seconds. And if you, of course, stack that with wing cyclone, like what I have here you actually reach very, very high speeds, and this becomes very, very useful if you're farming something like the Sentient Ship or doing, like, objectives-based runs, like farming the Pennant and the Quellar, for example. This is super useful. In fact, I'd say this is more useful than Void Cloak. Void Cloak actually reduces your speed, uh, but it makes you invisible. But if you, but the thing is, you with this setup right here, you go so fast that detection is not really a problem, in fact, you can outrun the enemy's detection. Now, another technical avionic that's pretty rare but also pretty cheap is Form Up. Form Up is basically an unstuck button that you can apply to all your crew members from your railjack. So if someone, say your captain, is stuck in the void because he decided to enter a cruise ship after the mission ended, then you're going to want to have someone use Form Up on the tactical while in the pilot seat or in the turret seat, and then he's no longer stuck which is super duper useful, especially with how easy it is to get stuck somewhere in Railjack. I find this would be super useful. And currently I'm looking for, I'm just trying to find room to fit it into my loadout. I'm probably gonna replace Polar Coil with uh, Form Up because that is super useful to have. But yeah, that's just a quick video. That's just what I wanted to show you guys uh, about underrated avionics that not a lot of people are using, but you definitely should use because they're actually really strong. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, that's all for me. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.